What's up guys, it's Mikey with PatBangers.com today with a new tutorial. Today it's about Contact 5 and I got two questions on Facebook last week. One question was if it's possible to use program changes with Contact and the other question was if there's a way to save your favorite instruments so you don't have to browse through the entire library to re quickly recall the sounds. And the answer is yes and I'm going to show you how to set this stuff up. So let's jump right into it. Let's open up contact 5. Let's start with the program changes. Now the bad news is you can't browse through the entire library with your program changes but you can set up an instrument bank and load the sounds you choose from that list. So this is how you do it. You go to your files menu right here, you click on new instrument bank and then you click on this little monkey wrench. Now as you see you get all these slots right here, you got 128 and what you need to do is you just go to your library, pick the sounds you want and you just drag them into the slots When you now go to your keyboard and press the program change buttons, you browse through this list of sounds. So if you're on a live situation and you don't want to use your mouse on the laptop all the time to load up new sounds, this is the way you do it. A few more hints on this setting right here. First of all, make sure your computer has enough CPU power and RAM to store all these sounds because you load them up all at once so you can browse through them on demand. It's not reloading samples when you switch them, it loads it up right when you open up the patch. You also can use this to stack sounds in your live setup. So let's say you want to use a brass ensemble together with the string ensemble. What you want to do is you load up another instrument bank and you um, load up the strings in here or another sound and what you need to do is you make, make sure you set these to the same MIDI channel for example to A1 because when you're on the same MIDI channel you browse through both of these banks at the same time. So this is how you set up stacks of sounds. Another hint on this is if you want to edit the sound only a few of them allow you to be edited when you double click on them. As you can see you have no instruments options right here. If you need a specific sound it's probably better to load up that sound, tweak it and save it as a new instrument, give it a new name and then load this new patch into the list here. If you want more than these 128 sounds um, you can just set a new MIDI channel right here then you switch the MIDI channel on your keyboard, press the program change buttons and you can browse through these sounds separately. That's about program changes. Now the other question was if there's a way to save your favorite sound so you can quickly recall them and what you need to do is you use the quick load list. You click on this button right here which says quick. This is probably a little confusing for people that are new to contact because when you first open it up it's an empty list so a lot of people don't know what to do here. I tell you what it is. You get your multi, bank and instrument settings right here so you can store your multi instruments right here different banks and instruments. I use instruments all the time, that's all I need. Um, you can make this a little bigger here. So what you need to do is let's say we want to add our favorite instruments. As you can see I already loaded up some of my instruments right here but uh, I don't have a favorites section so make a right click, add new folder and we call this favorites. And what we're going to do now is you go to your files section right here or to your library, doesn't matter. Let's say I want my favorite strings, so first I'm going to add a new folder called this strings. And I use, for example, my cello ensemble and you just drag it in to this and it's stored. You could also put it right here. If you don't want a subfolder, you can put it right in this folder. You can move it also to that folder later on if you're... Uh, made a mistake, you just drag and drop it right here. This list does not affect the order on your hard disk at all. You can do whatever you want, it won't affect the files on the actual hardware. You can rename stuff, you can rename folders. Um, it's totally safe, you can't mess up anything here. Also what you can do is you could go to your file section. If you don't have a library for that instrument you go to your file section and let's say I want to add what are we going to add here? Let's say we want to add the Sonic Coacher stuff. As you can see I got a few subfolders here. These are all new instruments. So let's create a new folder. Sonic Coacher. Uh, I already got this folder set up so I'm writing this this time without a, without a space between the words. So just for demonstration here. 
And what I'm going to do now is I go um, to this folder and highlight these four folders and I drag them into here. And now we got our folders right here with the instruments inside. Now let's say uh, I don't want this subfolder right here. That's no problem. Highlight all of these sounds. Drag them to the left. Here we are. And now I can delete this folder from the quick load. Same here. These look just fine. Here I got a contact folder. I don't want this folder. It's just one unnecessary step. Delete the folder and you're good to go. Now you can load this up every time you need it. You just go here. You go to your favorites. For example, favorites, strings, cello ensemble. Double click it and here you are really fast. You also hear from the drop down, from that little down arrow, you can now quick load it from a list. So that's really, that's way faster than browsing through all the libraries right here and you can't remember where it was. Just do a favorites folder and you're good to go. So that's it, quick and dirty this time. As always, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Leave some comments. If you have more cool tips on contact, please post some comments. Come over to facebook.com slash petbangers, give it a like. If you have questions, shoot me a message over Facebook or Twitter or Instagram and whatnot. So I hope to see you guys next time. Have a good week. Peace out.